Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the history of play in Korea, life and entertainment in traditional Korea. This is going to be a lot of fun. We've got some interesting things to talk about today. Uh, we'll be looking at the uh, activities of the upper class, the royal family and the upper class yangban, the kind of things that they would do for activities. We'll look at uh, talchum, which is mask dance, and pansori, which is the uh, one-man opera, one-woman opera, and uh, public entertainment for ordinary people at the market square. And then we'll look at women's position in the late Joseon dynasty. The, uh, the women's position fell and they became somewhat subjugated to uh, male dominance during the latter part of the Joseon dynasty. So we'll look at that and we'll learn about activities of the royal family and the Yangban. We'll learn about the social position and the hierarchy of the mask dance drama and how it uh, involves some role reversals and some uh, traditional uh, uh, antagonism in society. And then we'll look at the relationship between entertainment and traditional society, the kinds of entertainment that would be uh, performed and found in traditional society. This is all before K-pop. Uh, so this is all sort of introduction to, uh, to what we'll be looking at today. The uh, state of play, entertainment and, and poetry and literature and performance in the, in the Chosun period. some examples of some of the music and we'll see a lot of uh, paintings and diagrams of some of the activities we'll be looking at in this section. So we'll look forward to this. This will be a lot of fun. Here we go. <laughs> 